Dear students, please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In this lecture of parental care in amphibians, dear students, please note down. This is second lecture of parental care in amphibians. In our last lecture, we have studied in all three major groups of amphibians. Parental care is reported. Three major groups of amphibians are number first, Sicilians, or these are apoda. Apoda means without limbs. These amphibians are limbless. And we have studied this group by giving suitable examples like Ichthyophis, the Sicilian, the blind worms. The second group is, and this second group is, it is Eurodela. These are Codata, means in these animals, in these amphibians, tail persists throughout the life. So these are tailed amphibians. And the third group is, and this group is, it is Enurans. These are Ecodata, means these Amphibians commonly these are frogs and toads which are without tails. So these are tailless amphibians. And in this group, the parental care is studied by giving suitable examples. First one is Philomedusa. This one is American tree frog. Note down in this diagram, it is very clear. This Philomedusa American tree frog. The female glues her eggs on the surface of leaves and these leaves which remain just above the water and after hatching the larvae from these eggs directly fall into the water. Dear students, please note down in this Philomedusa, this is American tree frog and the female it glues her eggs on the surface of leaves and from these leaves when larvae develops they directly fall into the water second example that is alitis it is midwife tot this is the diagram of midwife tot in it the eggs a cluster of eggs and that cluster of eggs is carried by male frog in this salitis midwife taught the eggs carried by male and these eggs remain on thigh region of male frog third example is pipa americana it is surinam taught look here in this diagram very clear this is pipa surinam taught here a broad pouch special pouch in on the back region the skin develops some pits some pouches and in these pits or pouches female eggs are placed it means the eggs as well as tadpole larvae are protected in these special pits or pouches these are brood pouches which are present on the back region of female pipa surinam tot. Next example is Racophorus. And the Racophorus, it is a flying frog. Look here. This diagram very clear it, it is Racophorus. The life is arboreal as it lives on trees. And this Racophorus, the flying tree frog it glides from tree to trees here the female it prepares a nest dear students it prepares the female prepares that makes a nest in shallow water mud near the border of pond Racophorus, the flying frog, it shows parental care by protecting, by keeping the eggs in special nest which are produced by female frog. Next example is, it is Hyla arborea. Again, it is a tree frog which lives on trees. It is 
Indian tree frog and this Hyla arborea that makes a nest or enclosure in shallow water near the border of pond. The eggs are placed in these special nests or enclosures after hatching the larva directly enters in water. Next example is Hyla fabry. This one is it is Brazil Brazilian tree frog. In this Brazilian tree frog, the male frog and that male frog produce special types of holes, craters, or these are nurseries. In these nurseries, which are developed by male frog in muddy soil in this shallow water. And dear students, the female lays deposits her eggs in these craters, in these nurseries in which eggs as well as larvae, tadpole larvae are cared. This is all about parental care in 